guys we're back again for yet another bleach brave souls video and today we are going to be showcasing meninia mccallan because she is now finally in the game as our very first ever pvp quincy unit since ugram so uh it's good to see that we have finally gotten her not too happy about getting a pvp version of this character but hopefully let's say they do decide to make her Volster and Deesh form, they don't make her into a PvP character. But for now, it is what it is. This character is another PvP queen until we get another character with persistence and can pretty much penetrate through persistence and thus uh, the meta pretty much repeats itself all over again. But anywho, uh, yeah, this is a Quincy Stern Ritter with the Captain Killer. Right now, there aren't that many prevalent Stern Ritter killers. Most of them are like, what, outdated at this point? Tsukishima and Yama primarily. But like, um, she has a damage reduction soul trait of 21%, which is new, but really not that crazy because it's only 21% at the end of the day. It's just like literally by one and it's not like damage reduction of 25%. So it's kind of a weird one, but it is what it is. And in terms of the six star abilities, she's pretty much oriented for brave battles, but um, yeah, she inflicts confusion on her entire kit. The last character to ever have confusion was Bankai Shinji, pretty much from four years ago, which is actually crazy to even think that we've gotten a character with confusion, which I'm completely okay with at the end of the day. If she gets a soul bomb, she'll be able to debuff her foes by 80%, which is insane. And then the innate abilities, she does have long reach, is immune to paralysis, so she cannot be stopped by Yuha, and has Sprinter plus one. It has a base low stamina damage boost of 60% with, of course, the traditional PvP skills such as having half stamina only decrease damage taken 50%. Brave Battles only persistence. First 10 seconds of flurry, so uh, yeah. Can prevent last ditch survival, has ignore Brave Battle invincibility plus the invincibility herself. It's just so that way she can pretty much counter against SP units and not get screwed over by them. And of course has Flurry plus two. So yeah, another Flurry plus three character to use in Brave Battles with Poise and Pierce Barrier. I gave her as the bonus abilities, attack and low stamina damage boost, just so that way we can better take advantage of this character. There's no point in pretty much uh, using her in PvE because her damage output uh, it's pretty much going to be more so the same as the Thousand Year Blower or Hime, but it's going to be a lot worse because for one, she's a melee character. You do not like to play as melee nat characters compared to the ranged ones. Ranged are just better by a long shot. And she doesn't have Guard Break or Marauder, so I'm sorry for you guys that love Meninia and wanted to use her for PvE. Which is why, again, let's hope that by the time they make her Volster and Deesh form, it is going to be mainly for PvE. But anywho, let's just jump right into PvP real quick. Okay, this is the team setup that we currently have active. Yuha for the boost, or Hime being the other PvP queen, and then Meninia, who is the unspoken PvP queen herself. So yeah, I gave her Golden Chappy, the electric guitar. Wait, what the hell? <clears throat> yeah, there we go. The electric guitar with 30% attack, and of course the regular Chappy, and pretty much triple 20 DR links, because she is pretty much meant to be tanking the first Hits, and then once you get her persistence active, she is basically an unkillable monster. So yeah, uh, pretty much nothing to really take into consideration besides the fact that we have 81% damage reduction, 16% uh, normal attack damage because of the Ryukin link, and of course, well, yeah, that's all you guys need to see here. Uh, Orihime, pretty much the same setup, but I mainly built her up to be an offensive character just to basically be able to snipe down characters like Yamamoto, Ishin potentially and uh, yes she is basically ran as an offensive character with triple nat 30% links and then the same boldness abilities of having low stam and uh, attack and then Yuha he's mainly going to be there for boosting just that I almost never change his bonus ability so like he still has like what full stam and attack I know the full stam is irrelevant for this character but I just cannot be asked to 
always be changing his uh, bonus abilities, especially for when it comes to Gil Quest, but like Charm, Chappie, Golden Chappie, Zengetsu, Grimjow, and Stark. So uh, yeah, pretty much a similar setup, just that he has full stam rather than low stam. Although again, it's kind of relevant. So um, yeah, let's just go and jump right into some PvP matches and see what this character can do. Tonight we dine on Yamasup because we have ourselves a max transcended Yamamoto, albeit no Golden Chappie, but like this is still enough to give Meninia a good go at trying to kill off Yama because that's pretty much what she was designed for, to pretty much put an end to Yama's throne in PvP. So with that being said and done, let's get right into it and see what this character can cook up. Like, let's just get right into it. Alrighty. Moment of truth. We killed him before we even got the Persistence active, and that guy was Max Transcended. And even then, guess what? Yama would not have been able to kill because Persistence. Literally. By the time we hit 0 HP, we will be able to survive for 5 seconds to then completely kill off Yama. So, uh, yeah. Just a monster. An absolute behemoth for PvP. It doesn't end there because we have ourselves a max transcended Orihime with 500 attack and she is on a completely offensive build similar to mine just that I don't have the Nell linked up. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I may as well link this character up as well. Why not? Why not? We're just gonna see if she can actually kill Orihime even though the odds are losing are extremely high because we have a max transcended Yama and a max transcended Yuha all with a complete defensive setup. So we'll see how well we'll do here. If we die, we die. It is what it is. We're just here to show you guys what the power can do. Alrighty, moment of truth. Uh, sadly, we uh, already have the persistence active, so we are going to die pretty soon. Yeah, we died. But we came pretty close though. If Orihime was not on a complete offensive setup where she had the advantage to then put us on a complete low stand, then we would have been able to win this, but unfortunately no, because Orihime just has the advantage with being a ranged character and can snipe from far away. So yeah, Mininya is a good character, but she does have weaknesses. This one is more on a defensive setup, but still keeping the offensive setup, and even then, this Orihime is not as strong as the other one we faced. Whereas it only has two star attack, but we're still going to give it a shot. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can actually do here. Can we kill Orihime this time? And unfortunately, we're going to lose again because again, Orihime has the advantage with being ranged. Oh, but good. Oh, but guess what? We're going to win. Easy, easy, because uh, the other allies have taken down the other enemies, and Orihime was able to secure the W for us, so yeah. You need to have both Meninia and Orihime for the team, easily. There's just no way around it. Lads, it's time to go ahead and rebel against Yuha Baha. We have a max transcended Yuha with uh, pretty much... Why the whole obey, bro? What are you trying to accomplish here? But uh, yeah, the whole point is, can we kill Yuha? The answer is, just let her cook. Just let her cook. Better get in the kitchen and start chefing. You all couldn't even do anything against Meninia, bro. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. We just won like that. Just what the hell, man. Yeah. Oh my, look at that. We have ourselves a very defensive team. Look at the stat total. 5,000. Oh, wow. Okay. This will be quite the challenge. But let's see if we can at least take down the defensive board team. This is a 1-5 showcase, so it is to be expected. And unfortunately, we got the persistence out. Wait, can we win? Oh my god, we won! <laughs> that was close! Holy hell, bro! Holy hell! This has turned into an Orihime showcase. This is not good for us. Okay, you know what? Since it's come to this, why don't we run Meninia as a solo Prey Fowl character and start taking down the most toxic PvP teams, huh? Boom. Time to be toxic. Oh, but uh, look at that, we have another Meninia. Huh. Huh! Let's screw it. I do not care. Uh, 
Obviously, I'm gonna get debuffed by Orihime. And of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I guess you can say that in this case, Orihime is Mininia's worst uh, enemy. And wow, we couldn't even get to the Soul Bomb. Yeah, there's no way we can do solo matches against Orihime. There's just no way. You need to have both Mininia and Orihime on the same team if you even want to do Bro, can we do a solo freaking uh, match? Come on. Okay, uh, uh... Somewhat toxic, not meta, but... Actually, this is gonna be a bit annoying. 5-5 five, five Yama, 5-5 five, five Ishin. Yeah, okay, screw it. Let's just, let's just do this. Alright, solo Meninia. Come on, we can do this. It doesn't even matter, bro. Damn, that Ishin is tanky as hell. Yeah, no way. At this point, it really is safer to just have Orihime take down Orihime, and then have Meninia fight against any other foe that she comes across, and then can pretty much get to finish the, the finishing blow against the character. So what do we have here? Okay, okay. Alright. If we want to kill an Orihime, Meninia needs to take down another character, Orihime needs to take down the other Orihime, and then just have her doing the finishing blow. So, uh, yeah. Sajin is not going to do anything to us. That's a guaranteed fact. We got the Persistence active, but guess what? We now have the advantage, and we won. Just like that. Oh, took some time to find the right strategy, but, uh... Yeah, wow. Having two Persistence PvP characters really makes a difference, doesn't it? We've got three more PvP tickets left to go with, so, uh, yeah. Let's pair her up against Ishin this time around, since Ishin is a premium option. Everyone will pretty much almost have access to him, whether you guys pull him from banners, tickets. I pulled him a couple times from tickets, a couple times from banners. That's how I got him to 4-5, and, uh, yeah, he's just way easier to get to 5-5. But, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Damn, Ishin is still good here. But, hey, we popped the Persistence. Or Hime hasn't popped off hers, and look at that. Yeah. There you guys go. There you guys go. Now nah, I don't feel bad for pulling her, I have to be honest. <laughs> okay, we can't find any other type of Meninia on PvP. I mean, she did just come out. Some people have not worked on her. Some people will have her, but have not put her into the PvP team. So it is kind of expected. This is literally day one, but then later on, we'll start seeing more of them. So I'm definitely going to have to revisit the character too. Uh, let's just find another team to fight against at this point. A 2-5 Orihime. Yeah, okay. Let's just do the same trick, although I kind of want to fight a Yama, to be honest, that's on there. Oh, wait, is that the team I lost against? Yeah, okay, this is the team I lost against when trying to go for a solo, uh, Meninia team. So, uh, yeah, we'll just go and do this. Yeah, Ishin is a bit dangerous for Orihime because she, you know, because he can tank against her. If built up correctly. So, uh, yeah, let's just go and do this. Boom. Yeah, too easy. Uh, basically, how to win PvP, have Meninia and Orihime. You win. And then, have the booster. Either Yuha or Chad. If you guys have Chad, 5-5, five five, with uh, 300 defense on the 6th slot, you guys can actually get away with uh, Chad tanking Orihime to then being able to uh, do enough damage to get the persistence out, and then you'll have quite the advantage. We may as well finish the matches by fighting one last Toth opponent, this one that has 5,000 total stats. 2-5 Orihime, 5-5 Yuha, 5-5 Yama. So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Okay, let's go. Orihime's persistence is out. Yuha is still alive, that's not good. Uh, I think we've lost, huh? Yeah, there's no way we're winning this. Nope. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Our team was a bit weak here. But, um, yeah, let me know about Meninia. I'm kind of not too satisfied with how I got to showcase her, but then again, I did kind of play it wrong until the last matches. But, uh, yeah. You just gotta pick your fights and, uh, do what you can do. Anywho, that about does it for the showcase. Let me know if you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. This has been your brother, Das Smasher, and I hope to see you guys all in the next one. So, have a wonderful day, lads. Peace out. Bye. Sana. Ciao, ciao.